Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for the 23rd to the 29th of March 2020. I was going to say September. <laughs> no, I don't want to wish my life away. Well, if you are new, welcome to the reading uh, for Aquarius and welcome to the channel. And if you would like to join me and my other Cyber Angels uh, live, then uh, please join us on Monday night and Friday night. And if you're Dutch or can speak Dutch, you're more than welcome to join us on Wednesday night. And if you are a Cyber Angel, welcome back and thank you for your support. And thank you for your likes and shares. That is really appreciated. I'm doing a reading like I would do an extensive reading, but I'm only doing part of it um, as I'm only reading the rows and I'm taking this as the past, the present and the possible future energy. With all the uh, Oracle cards, the uh, Inspiration cards from Wayne Dyer, the Goddess cards and the Answer of the Angels. Um, and the bottom of the deck. Okay, please share and like this video. We're nearly at the 2000, so boom, let's get up there this week and let's celebrate by going live an extra night. Okay, I might go live uh, on Saturday night. And remember, we are doing a weekly vlog with a Dutch witch what does a, a witch do and what does certain things mean because we are also discussing the witch's oracle deck and it is absolutely a beautiful deck and you can learn a lot the incantations are beautiful okay now let's get started my darlings okay you can find the information below this video uh, do you wish an extensive reading or just click on the little dot here the eye in the white circle okay the first card that you have is the garden and the garden means that you might be um, going to presentations meetings gatherings um, reunion there might be a reunion you might meet somebody from the past or that you haven't seen for a long long time perhaps it might be a necessity in the situation as we are all um, on lockdown but that was in the past perhaps you've been to a presentation or a gathering um, so that is the past by the way you can read the cards like that you can read them uh, horizontally uh, crosswise and the diamond you can read the corners and see what co corresponds with each other there's a lot of storylines from just nine cards but I'm only using the vertical lines for the week see whether it fits with you if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign okay so that was in the past perhaps you went to school or to the university and you had a meeting yes of course if you go to the classroom you do have a meeting of sorts like a presentation the teacher is presenting something and you're listening then um, also because we have finished the first quarter by the end of this week um, I'm just going to take the past from uh, the beginning of the year so this might have happened in the last two to three months that you went to presentations meetings and you didn't know how to get to your goal and then the advice is look around there's people around you that can help you okay you might not be able to reach this goal you're too much in your head you don't know the way so ask people for help don't shy away from that don't get frustrated and make arguments as you've got the whip and broom it perhaps you've been clearing away old stuff and lightening your load in order to find the right way okay now in some decks it's just the broom 
but in this deck, like the original deck, it is the broom or the brush and whip. This stands for disagreements and arguments. Perhaps you've had disagreements um, in the last two, three months and uh, you're not feeling happy but the air is cleared because you've cleared it away, you've swiped it away or sweeped it away. Um, perhaps you've um, done you're done with old friendships or relationships you've got you had number 11 which is an angel number okay so perhaps you've started this new beginning um, and let's see what uh, the cards say at present you've got the ring perhaps now you have um, started a new relationship or a new partnership as you have the ring that is above you in some way some ways some readers say that is above you that is coming towards you it could be happening now perhaps it is a, a mature man or advice like I said you didn't know where you were going and now you've come to the point after clearing certain things that you are going to seek advice from a man a mature man this could be a father figure or this could be a professional okay like a bookkeeper a teacher um, a boss uh, an employer anything like that underneath you that's your foundation that is the cross you've got goals like you can see you already had it in the past but it is now in the present so I think it's coming true perhaps it's a partnership that you wished in business or in love so you have been working steadily and due diligently um, to get this goal and uh, this wish coming true you've been navigating you've been navigating because in the olden days they used to navigate by the stars and uh, advice from an older man it could be uh, um, going uh, like I said an official so you might be either getting married this is what is happening this is what you wanted and you're going to go for it perhaps you might go and see a priest or somebody at the registrar office now what is lying in the future is the child there might be a child on the way you might find out you're pregnant the future can be 10 minutes from now or in a couple of days or in the next couple of weeks or definitely in this week as this is the reading for this coming week you might find out that you're pregnant now if you don't want to get pregnant take precautions but it also means a new study it could mean a new job it could mean be more playful let your inner child come out we've got the birds here and the birds uh, is a number seven so luck is on your side and we've got the owls this is the extended deck and the owls means wisdom communication so definitely you're going to get news but it could be also official news okay like the marriage register or a bookkeeper uh, or contracts a lawyer signing contracts with becoming a partner okay so um, this also means somebody might have left the group or left the coop and watch out for gossip now the um, outcome is that you're on the right path you've got the compass and you're on the right path you are in balance okay um, the, you are taking the path to the north node okay. then underneath the deck we might have the wed wedding bouquet you're getting a bunch of you've got the bunch of flowers you might be getting a gift but luck is definitely on your side You've got luck here, luck with the bouquet. Your wish and dreams are coming true, but be more playful, don't be too serious. From the Gordin cards, you have cycle and rhythms. 
so everything is a cycle everything comes round that goes round respect the cycles of your body and then we're coming to the pregnancy perhaps now you are in the cycle of being fertile feel your own energy and everybody is jumping on the bandwagon with this coronavirus yes okay that's okay it is awful and my sympathy go goes out to those that have lost the dear one but turn inside and like I always say love yourself first take care of yourself go to your inner self take time out respect the cycles and the rhythms if you don't put don't do too much because you'll tire yourself out and then you will be more susceptible to perhaps falling ill so take care of yourself respect the cycles and rhythms in your life okay it isn't touch your energy and your feelings so feel your energy and feelings you might be going inward because it's a lot of purple in the card purple is spirituality and blue is the color of service and communication communication boom there you go now be careful how you communicate you don't have to argue ask people for help and will you get that job yes definitely will I get married yes definitely it doesn't have to be straight away but you will soon find out the inspiration card from D uh, Wayne Dyer is associate with the inspired with the inspired and in and the inspiring the is tongue twisting sorry guys look at all the butterflies transformational period choose to associate with people who live their lives for the most part in spirit but first you need to identify those who are inspired and inspiring individuals who have risen above their egos and their vanities of the world so those people are turning inward and turning to the divine and spirit and the angels we need to go back to where we came from and realize what we have to do to preserve love life and the environment and return to helping others this is the call that's being spread by everybody that understands the cycles and rhythms of the earth respect that also within yourself okay um, Aquarius I hope you've enjoyed this reading please share and like the reading and give us the thumbs up and I hope to see you in the live session on Monday and please watch out for the vlog on J mon uh, on uh, uh, Wednesday <laughs>